Did you press record on the phone? There's a man that I've heard of once in a lullaby. Why? <coughs> My foot's the star of the show. Um, actually, I am. That's great. Can I use Jewel? I want to challenge... Stay in school, don't do drugs, kids. Please. No, listen, I want to challenge both of us... Do McFlurries. Okay. You want to challenge both of us? To not be performative. Yeah. And what I mean by that is just because we're recording, just because we're on camera, and just because we know that this is listening, and that we're going to have this, doesn't mean we need to get all, like, cute and acty. You know how, like, some people do podcasts and they're like, oh, my God, like, we're so funny. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Yeah, like, the close-up, like, that's not us. Like that? Yeah. I just, if we're going to do this, see, like, I looked at the camera, like, don't look. <laughs> don't look. Like, stop looking. Like, what we had earlier, like, talking deep in eyesight and conversation, which we know eyesight is very hard for me. But also, like, let's be ugly. Mm -hmm. And let's be stupid and, like, let's be imperfect and, like, vulnerable and not, like, showy-offy. Yeah. Done deal. We have Midnight Breeze lit. Oh, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's the candle. candle. Brosco is right here. Eek, eek. Oh, <laughs> he said no I'm thanks. Sorry. I was just is that like you. catching? Wait, look at the recording thing. Is that catching? Are you catching? Oh, it's catching. It's catching. Oh, it's catching. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Because also I'm blind and I can't. She's blind. I couldn't see. We've got two blind <laughs> beings on this couch, and I'm not one of them. <laughs> um. Hello, and thank you for listening. Thanks for joining. And thanks for watching. If you decided to watch this. If you decided to watch this, I'm Rachel. I'm Sarah, but you can call me Sa. And we're roommates. Who live in Brooklyn. And we're platonic life partners. And we're going to get married and move to the UK eventually because America sucks. <laughs> Once all the animals die. Yeah. But that's a story for another time. Cause, yeah, because we can't fly them all. Because they're all anxious fucks. So Not to mention the treatment of animals in TSA. Oh, yeah, the other day. Did you see that video about I that knew. guy that was like, My dogs! Yeah, you showed it to me on the couch the other night. I know, he was upset. But he got his dogs back. But it's not the point. It's the principle. The principle. It's very important. Yeah, I remember even, like, being a kid and my parents, like, talking about what it would be like to board our cat, Jasper. Mm. And my dad would describe it, and he'd be like, do you know what they do? He would be like, they put the cat in a cat carrier, like, a plastic one with, like, the metal door, like, the cage door, you know? Like, yeah, the nasty yeah. ones. Kind of like the one that London came home in. Yes. And they go with the suitcases. Now, here my question for that is... They go in, like, a cabin under the plane. It's in the same plane. It's not in a different plane. It's in the same plane. It's, like, under. It's, like, in a cabin. That's terrifying. Exactly. Exactly. I'm not doing that to any of them. No. You choose you should to have cats them. in the United States. You keep them in the United States. That's my opinion. That's my opinion! <laughs> That's my opinion. Not he, even him. He would he he would be able to fly with you because you could register him as a service animal. Not even. It would kill him. The terror, the noises, yeah. the sensory, the ears popping. Probably Where are we throw going? Throw a Benadryl. I would have to Every, knock like, him hours. out and carry him. Yeah. And he's 35 pounds. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't have given that baby stroller back then. 
But at that point, <laughs> I'm not like lugging these pitiful animals around country to country. No. They're going to my mom's house. <laughs> Auntie Bye. Maddie and Uncle Tyler will watch them. You know, like yeah. if I meet a man who is from London and he's like, "I love you. <laughs> I want you to move here with me." I can't. I can't. I have four animals. Be like, come to my house. They would literally have to move in with friends and family. I would I would have to give up my animals to be with that person. That person doesn't exist. No. Sorry. No. And even you, even you, like, wouldn't do something like that. Like, you'd be like, it's my animals or nothing for you. Yeah, like, imagine me being like, I just love this man. Like, do you think you could just take them? Like, no. Like, if you Gross. love me that much, you're coming you here. to me. Yeah, you move here. Not gonna happen. Buy us a house here, you rich m- man. Maniac. Yeah, maniac man. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Our first topic, complete. Let me, let me add one more thing. Mm-hmm. I don't judge the people who have, like, codependent animals that aren't scared of anything. Like, mm-hmm. the animals that, like, go with their humans everywhere like in a purse and they're just like like the tiny tiny ones yeah like you know people who have like a little tiny little shit fuck and it's (laughs) you know those little shit you know (laughs) those things and they're in purses and they just like are happy to be there yeah i don't judge those people who bring their dog everywhere but like when you have dogs like emotional support no no like 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 a purse dog an accessory an accessory (laughs) <laughs> but then you have like dogs like my dog who just lie around all day follow you and then like but then eat. also like gets triggered by random things like okay Roscoe <laughs> Roscoe has CPTSD which is called complex PTSD complex. and it it's is complicated it's complicated and it's triggered by random things from his childhood that we don't really understand or know about because I've only had him for a year and he's seven so he kind of just like is what he is and you can't change him you can't you he doesn't even know how to sit and i don't you can't teach him yeah you can't teach him he's not gonna learn no he's a he doesn't care he's like you can tell me all you want i'm gonna do what i yeah but touch his butt and he'll fucking growl at you like you're he doesn't expect it he doesn't expect it Okay, what do we want to talk about now? This is our first episode. Yeah. We need segues. We, we need do, segues. We need segues. We need segues. We need... Hmm. You know what else I thought about? Hmm. Side note. This is going to be very interesting, trying to line up the video with the recording. <laughs> but luckily, luckily, I have an ear and an eye for that. That was a 6 out of 10. Shooks to score my throws. <laughs> I, I, I'd like it to be known that she's thrown my jewel into a bowl of nacho cheese before. I would also like it to be known (laughs) that if we're gonna um, make comparisons to call her daddy, I'm the Sophia and she's the Alex. She will be doing the editing and I will be taking the credit. What is call her daddy? We're gonna skip over that one. I will speak to her in private. (laughs) I'm so sorry to the fans of Call Her Daddy, to the producers. And the is it a podcast? Of... Or is it a, sh- is it a TV <sighs> show? You know how we were talking earlier about how I've taught you a lot? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to teach you about Call Her Daddy. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Did we? No. Call Her Daddy is a podcast. Okay. It's a podcast that was... Uh, started by a company called Barstool Sports. Well, that's not true. Sorry, let me rephrase. That is not true at all. Got it. Podcast was started by two girls, Alex Cooper and Sophia Franklin, Mm -hmm. two roommates in New York City, Mm. two, like, beautiful, hot, like, I don't know, 25-year-old girls. They started this podcast talking about, like, dating and sex and, like, you know, what they go through. Mm -hmm. And Barstool Sports 
Mm-hmm. This is a huge company mm. picked up their podcast and offered them like I think like a sixty million. No, that's not true. At first, they offered them like a small amount of money to like come on the team of Bar- Barstool and like be sponsored by Barstool essentially. And like I think mm-hmm. they got like an iTunes deal or something. I don't really know the ins and outs of it. But mm. long story short. They started this podcast, and they got super, super famous and okay. started making a lot of money. Okay. And Alex was always the one doing the editing. Got it. And it's not that Sophia took the credit for it, but I guess in negotiations with Barstool, Sophia wanted the same... They wanted to offer Alex more money than Sophia. Okay. Because Alex was editing the podcast mm. and, like, doing the graphic design or whatever. Again, mm. I'm, I'm, like, making stuff up, but I'm also not. And I guess there was, like, conflict there because Alex was like, no, like, I deserve more money than you. I do so much more work than you. And, and then there was, like, a fight about, like, a boyfriend or something like that. And then, essentially, Sophia, um, like, left. And now the podcast is just Alex. And Whoa. now the podcast is the number one podcast, like, in the world. Is that the one that's always coming up on TikTok? Beautiful, hot, blonde girl. And a redhead? No. Or is that another? No. It's just this girl, Alex Cooper. She's a beautiful, beautiful blonde girl. And mm. she just has the podcast on her own now. And she got a $60 million deal with Spotify. Wow. $60 million deal with Spotify and now she inter- she's interviewed Demi Lovato she just interviewed John Mayer Chelsea Handler Chain Smokers Haley Bieber yeah she's like the, the top you should listen to her podcast it's awesome and she talks about and it's just so raw like she talks about like sucking dick and mm. eating pussy and it's just so raw and real and awesome Color Daddy. Mm. There's a paw print on this couch. These couch covers have been needed to get washed, and we've been talking about it for like three days straight. And we still haven't done it. Well, Sarah's crippled right now, and I don't really like to do things without <laughs> help, so. I'm hobbling my way around. You are. You By the way, thanks for doing the dishes today. I kind of let that one slip this morning. You mean last night? That's what I meant been all over the place, you know? It's fine. It's been all over the place. This is, like, hard to keep up. <laughs> it's a big house. Yeah, it's a big house. It's actually... It's actually a very, like, narrow house, but it's long. It's long. It's a long house. Yeah. I like more wide open spaces. I can't wait for wide open space. I think if people saw how tiny our bathroom was, they'd actually like. It's it's funny. <laughs> there used to be a six foot two man living here with me, <laughs> and he hated that bathroom. I mean, he hated most things, but I think any six foot man would hate that bathroom. Don't defend him. I'm not defending him. I just think that She's any... defending him. I'm not defending him. You're on He's his a side. cheap ass. You Moving like on. Should I get back together with him? No. Okay, I'm calling him. Who's my phone? Oh, it's... <laughs> 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 Why, you ask everybody? Because my phone has zero storage. Explain to the people why your phone has zero storage. Because I record things and I have too many apps and I don't put my photos into Google Drive like Rachel does. <laughs> you want to know why I use Google Drive? Because when you delete pictures from your phone, they also get deleted from your iCloud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't get that. Here, Here's, let me explain. Because if you're not backing up your phone. I do back up my phone. That's what I don't understand. Like with Google Drive, all my pictures automatically upload to my Google Photos, and mm-hmm. then I delete them from my phone. Mm-hmm. And they're in my Google Photos forever. Mm-hmm. But if you upload things to your iCloud, and then you delete them from your device, they don't stay in your iCloud. They delete. 
Yeah, because if... You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not saved anywhere. They're gone. Well, there's a recently deleted section that no. if you delete a photo, it'll go into there for 30 days. Yeah, no, but that's not what I'm getting at. I'm talking about... Isn't the cloud supposed to be like, okay, everything's saved to your cloud, so now you can delete it from your device. And it's safe. I started deleting things from my, my device, and then I couldn't find them in my iCloud. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, like my, even if, if you were to log into your iCloud on a computer, like it, it would have like 14,000 items on it, whereas my Google Photos has like 50,000 items in it. Interesting. And I don't understand why. Very strange. Maybe you should Google it. Yeah, because Google's the answer. Google's made us stupid. In a way. Has it made us stupid or has it made us resourceful? I think it's resourceful to, like, learn information, but my uncle a long time ago, like, made a really good point about, like, iPhones and, like, Google and searching things is that it's just made us lazier and, like, less Maybe, likely yeah. to, like, find a book and, like, read a book. But, like, I'm not going book. to the library to look something up. Obviously not in 2023. I'm going on Google.com. Library. Yeah. I'm going on Google. I just think it's made a, made us, like, you know, a little lazier. That's all. I ate all the cheese bites. That's okay. I know. I know you are. It's okay. I can eat it into Oreos and Reese's Puffs. Did you not order McDonald's tonight for dinner? I ordered it for breakfast. <laughs> what time did you wake up today? 11. No, that's not true. 10. 10. 10.30. Yeah. Well, that's because I went to sleep at like 11.30 last night. Mm. That's not the case tonight. Oh my god, I have to take Oscar to the vet tomorrow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Poor boy. At 4.30 in the afternoon I have to take you. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. Do you want to tell him the truth? <sighs> that's a no. I'll think about it. I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. I think that concludes our first episode. It was a little all over the place. Kind of. How long did that last? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Thanks for listening and watching and caring. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can find our Instagrams linked below <laughs> on the screen. We'll do some editing. Um, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna put ASMR in the microphone maybe. I don't have any shit. It stinks. It's because it's been in a boot cast all day. Don't put it up to the microphone. Don't put your squeaky tootsies up to my beautiful microphone. Skies are blue And my dreams are too dull to dream Will they come true? Stop it. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Stop it. Okay, I'm gonna slap my leg. Ooh. <laughs> That's from dislocating my shoulder. Ugh. In gymnastics. <laughs> I'm not scratching my vagina, I'm scratching my thigh. <laughs> Quality content, ladies and gentlemen, and babies and maidens. Bye, everyone. See ya.